So what's up? I'm back with another video. So I've been speaking about this in the last two videos. I keep bringing this up. I keep saying, hey, that's for another video. That's for another video. This is that video. This is kind of a weird one just because of the way it went down. But keep in mind, I was young. I was about 16 years old, somewhere around there. And still to this date, this is one of my most powerful manifestations I've ever pulled off. And so it's still one of my most exclusive ones. It's the story I like to bring up to people when they are asking some questions other than the tennis ball experiment. Because that's also very simple. A lot of the time people think that there are many layers to this, but... As Miyamoto Musashi, I think that's how you say his name, he says, once you see the way broadly, you can see it in all things. So just like with the tennis ball, just like with the Chrysler, the car, and just like with my SP, which is specific person for those who don't know, it's all the same technique. You're doing the same thing. The only difference is that sometimes when it comes to people and love, we tend to have more pressure on us because, wow, you know, this is someone that you really want to be with. But anyways, so the weirdest part about this manifestation is simply the fact that I did not know the person at all. I didn't even know her name. So keep that in mind. A lot of the time people will say, yeah, it's good to imagine you're going to have things, but then it's action, action, action. You got to keep working at it. You got to keep working at it. But when it came to this one, I didn't do anything because I couldn't do anything. Think about it. I was, like I said, I was around 16, somewhere there, maybe close to 17. And I found a picture on a laptop that we had. And this person was... I have three brothers, like I said before, so it was one of their friends or something that they knew, and they had this picture on the laptop. We all shared the laptop, and so one day I was just going through it, and I see this picture, and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm a 16-year-old guy. I see this other teenager, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is, she's beautiful, and so every day I find myself sneaking a look, sneaking a look, sneaking a look. And eventually, like, like I am young at the time. So, <laughs> so basically, like, you could almost look at it like I was like a little bit obsessed with it. Because every day I would look at this picture. I, like, I got to a point where I just kept thinking like, wow, if this could be my girlfriend, that would be amazing. Because I never really had like a real, real girlfriend at that point. And it was pretty interesting. So every day I would like, I would even like pray. I would be like, please make this my girlfriend. Please make this my girlfriend. And like, even before I went to bed at night, I would like have the laptop open and I would be looking and I would be like talking like it's my girlfriend. I would say like, you're going to be my girlfriend. You're going to be my girlfriend. Fall asleep. And months passed and essentially it got to a point where i just stopped looking at the picture i don't know what happened but life went on and i stopped looking at the picture and i was in cat it's a computer and technologies class um, in high school and i'm sitting there and i'm just it's just a normal day and i'm bored and i'm the teacher's rambling on and I get this like text message out of nowhere. So we had this one messaging app. It was called Mixit here in South Africa. And I got a message on there from a number I didn't know. So I looked at it and immediately this person was like swearing at me. Like, um, you're a piece of shit and you treat women badly or treat girls bad, whatever. And... Um, you're just a player and a womanizer and all these things like I'm being attacked and I have no idea who these people are. And because then I saw that it was two different chicks talking to me on one number and they kept just talking to me, talking to me, swearing at me. And I'm like trying to explain like, no, 
it's I'm not who you think I am. Like, you got the wrong number. Long story short, eventually they embarrassed. Then it was only, like, the one chick's number and she essentially just they were embarrassed and we carried on and i just continued to chat because i i was i was like teasing her with it the whole time and i was like haha you know um you know you're attacking random people you don't even know blah 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 all these types of things and we sp i promise you we spoke for like two days because it was like weird on and off i never like delve too deep into it i would just like send a message to make fun like Oh, who are you terrorizing today? And then eventually I saw like we started like a conversational thread and I got the name. I should have said prior to that, I'd asked um, one of my brothers, like, who is that girl in the picture? And he gave me her name. And then it turns out that this was the girl who was one of the girls who messaged me. And I was like, wait, what? And we started talking and talking and talking and talking and eventually met up and about eight months later I was dating her and we dated for like two years after that. So that's why I say it's one of my most incredible manifestations because like I was saying prior, people will say action, 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 you got to put in action, you got to put in work, which is true my action in that moment was keep looking at the picture keep um, impressing it onto my subconscious and then it will manifest and then obviously the other action would be that i kept speaking and even though there were some ups and downs i stuck to it until she was my girlfriend so what i mean is that this was someone I didn't know at all. It just shows you the power of the mind. It's like, this is someone I didn't know at all. And I got messaged by them or her as a mistake. And you see how things just took off. You never know how the subconscious mind is going to give you something. Once things are impressed on it, it's a go. And that's what Neville Goddard speaks about as well. So that's just what I I wanted to to share and that's one of the most powerful things just to recap what I did I had this picture I I prayed I whatever I could do to get it and I I spoke these things all the time even before falling to sleep like Neville says a state akin to sleep and that is essentially what prayer is anyways closing your eyes relaxing the body it's a state akin to sleep that way things are easier able to be absorbed by your subconscious mind and then after a lot of time i stopped looking at the picture that was my way of letting go and full circle came back to me anyways if you like that story give it a like share subscribe if someone needs to see this i wish Someone could have gave me something like this um, so that I could have more faith in my abilities. Other than that, if you liked the video, like it. Until next time, peace.